a testimony to many nations because you know, we should have you know, to the different kinds of people. Yeah. yeah. Now, I would like to ask first is William, uh, uh, before I first saw you, uh, you were on cane and uh, you are walking so slowly and yeah. very slow and a little bit, yeah, kind of uh, uh, sick that time. No, um, that balance, was uh, balancing. In balance, balance, uh, balancing problem before. That was three weeks ago. Yeah. And then Janita is also. Remember, I talked to you about Jesus here in this room, mm. and after that, both of you, without any hesitation, accepted Jesus because you really love the Lord and you want yes. to know the Lord more. And that moment, as your wonderful birthday to the Lord, I asked you. Now, two weeks ago, up there, I prayed for you. Uh, and then you came to church for two weeks, and this is the third week. And uh, what happened to you when uh, after we prayed, and then uh, the two weeks later, what mm. happened to you before you have a game? I feel okay. lifted, lifted by okay. angels, yeah, yeah, and stop me from falling. And oh wow! In other words, before steadying you, me with my balance. Before I met you, you didn't have balance before, but after yeah. after the prayer, mm. you feel good. Yes. And you yes. felt your balance. Yes, okay. thanks the Lord. And then, that was uh, three weeks ago, you used to have a cane. But now, how many days are you walking without the cane? I can't recall. Uh, Yesterday I talked to almost you. Almost a week. A week now? Less than a wow, week. Wow, the Lord is so good. Yeah. Almost a week now walking. Yeah. God bless you. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, the Lord loves you so much. The beautiful thing about the Lord, He really loves for those people who are really uh, have nothing to to glory, and there are those people who come to the Lord, they will never be set aside, mm. and we love you too. Now, I was talking to Janita also the first time, and I was so blessed to be with you. She was very open, mm. and uh, and then the first time I saw you, okay. and then I <laughs> that was that the break. Durian age of, uh, Mommy. 15, yeah. 16 years old, she was already hearing some Daddy is voices. Busy. What kind of voices you are hearing? Um, one time mm. I heard like, his voice, but it was like, it sounded, it sounded like when you get a record and slow it down. Mm. Yeah, that was only once, but I used to have nightmares every night. Every night you have nightmares? Around 16. 16. Yeah. And then I ended up with schizophrenia, and then... I started hearing voices. Uh, many voices? Yeah. Uh, is, is that daily? Yeah. Daily? Okay. Uh, so it should have been yeah, from 16 years old to your age today. Yeah. Now, the first time you came here, we got to know uh, to see each other and uh, what happened. You accepted the Lord. After the first prayer, what happened to you, the first prayer? The first prayer. In the church, yeah. At uh, the communion time? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know how this go. Something. Maybe it's from you. Uh, from the Lord, yeah. Yeah. What you like feeling? Yeah. Do you feel happy, both of you, or light? Yes. Yeah. You you feel like the Lord accepted you that moment? Always. Always. Uh, yeah. yeah. You too. Now, after the first prayer, uh, how is the voices uh, uh, talking to you? Is it coming? Then it's slowly. It's slowly. God bless. God bless. Okay, thank you. And the second time, last Sunday we pray again. She, yeah. she was at the back, in yeah. the corner in front. Mm -hmm. I said, could you come forward? And we prayed again. And after the prayer, mm -hmm. I talked to her by telephone. I always called her. Mm -hmm. And uh, two, three days ago, I talked to her. And what happened after that? Have you heard any voices or no more? <coughs> very rarely. Very, very rare. Yeah. In other words, from the time I talked to you, you have not heard any more. Not today. Uh, yeah, and yesterday? Um, maybe once. Only once. Yeah. And what did you do? Did you? Uh, did you? I said, uh, I said, I said, oh no, no, I did. I heard something this morning, and I said, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you. Yeah. What happened after your review? I haven't heard anything. Oh, wow, that's that's the authority of the Lord. So after. Three weeks only once you heard and you rebuke you rebuke it and never heard again. Yeah. Uh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. So beautiful. So today, uh, this is a testimony of the Lord's doing, and mm -hmm. uh, I have seen many people 
a big family of Italian in St. Mary. Yeah. They've been seeing some uh, black smoke and they feel some uh, choking them in the night time. One of the guys, by the way, these are all uh, Italian. Mm -hmm. and, and they can feel, they can sense it. And about uh, December when I pray for them, and <coughs> those people receive healing and they have not seen the manifestation of that demon forces. And they're in St. Mary, one of the uh, land there, big land, big cross of St. Mary, and the Lord healed them also. And I talked to them. I prayed the second time because they did not attend Christian service. They're just like you, you keep listening to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And there's another coming back for the second time after six months. Mm -hmm. Just a little kind of feeling, they can sense it. And I went there again with a friend by the name of Nathan. And Munchi, we prayed. And ever since then, they have never since never felt any manifestation of demonic power. Yeah. yeah, our God is very, very powerful. That's why I'm sharing yeah, it to you. Yeah. And so today, uh, I pray to the Lord that the power is already given to Janita. Mm -hmm. That demon spirit or that little voice is very scared. The moment she said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name, I'm a child of God, Janita will be heard by God because she's a daughter of the Lord. Yeah, that's your power. That's really, you have power to. The I, Lord is with us now. Uh, because of, no because of <coughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I hold your hand, I pray for both of you. Father, thank you so much, Lord, for uh, William. Lord, thank you for bringing this man to you personally. He come to experience your love and your healing power. Father, the balancing has been restored. Thank you. You touch the mind, thank you, Lord. And even the strength of the legs and the body. And Lord, for almost one week, he is not using a cane anymore. Father, Receive the glory. I'm happy to see these beautiful people receiving healing and blessing from you. Lord, for Janita, Lord, for the age of 16 and the 20 plus years, oh Lord, uh, she's now 20 plus years at the present time. And Lord, those voices have been kind of tormenting her. Three weeks ago, and this is not the third week, Father, you have revealed to her and to all of us that you're the present help in time of need, in time of trouble. Lord, just this morning she heard me once and she rebuked it and the enemy did not come close to her. Lord, I pray for that power to continue to fall upon her. In today, by the authority of Jesus Christ, never again, even once, those voices will come to her hearing. And Lord, thank you for blessing this precious, wonderful friend, William and Janita. Continue to protect them, continue to use them. Make Janita a blessing to the whole family in Marayong and William to the loved ones and friends. Make him a blessing, a testimony of the healing power of Jesus Christ. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. That's the, you know, I said you know, some story before you go to the. I have seen people in the, 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 the time that uh, there was a, a little girl at the age of 12 she in, San, uh, in Long Beach. Now she was she was dying. That was around 1988 or 89. I was pastoring in, in Long Beach, California. And the father was crying, the mother was crying. Uh, and then later on, uh, that girl with all the things uh, in the body, the doctor gave up. But she was still breathing, but uh, and, uh, kind of semi-conscious. And I prayed for her. The name of the father was Eduardo, the name of the mother was Lina, and then that was in 1988 or 89. Mm -hmm. And we prayed, and they, I told the couple, Would you commit your life to the Lord faithfully and serve Jesus? He said, Yes, Pastor. And I prayed, That girl today is married with children. Oh. She came back to life. Really? Yeah. yeah. So our Jesus is powerful, yeah. and He is alive. That's why uh, you, yeah. you found a person who is alive now living in your heart. Yeah. So thank God for that. Thank you very much for both of you, a testimony in the power of the Lord. Okay. Yeah. So I can say thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. for healing me. Thank you. About you. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Amen.